Hello people, this is extremely urgent. Please go on to Wonder Map and try and capture what I'm about to show you. This is the daylight satellite. I'm going to put the visible satellite on. Here we have, it's the 22nd of October 2013. We have Francisco, we put the Vientra Red on. We have Typhoon Francisco and Typhoon Lekima. Okay, in the Pacific Ocean, they're not going to hit Japan, so that's not a problem. The problem is that as I was watching those, I came over to check on the anomaly I had been seeing since in the 14th of October, which was down below Australia. I was beginning to wonder if it was an ionospheric plasma cloud, a sustained ionospheric plasma cloud. And I came over today, and lo and behold, it's not just a cloud anymore, it's, you will see what it is, if it will deign to come on. So, That is the two typhoons, their spawn tracks, just for reference. You can see this is the satellite, the daylight satellite. It's dark at the moment over there, but the light is coming closer. Here in France, it is half past nine in the evening, so you better be quick and get onto Wonder Map. What you need is the 6 p.m. view here. I hope it's going to move. You can switch it off and switch it on, and that seems to put it into action. And it's not moving. So I'm going to switch it off down here. and switch it back on. Right, 6 p.m., that's what we want. There we are. Now that, for me, is like a bridge before the anomaly was down here, and now it seems to have opened out into an arc and for me that is plasma mirrors. Um, it's like a stairway of plasma mirrors which are tilted and this side is even worse. So they're beaming something. That looks like harp to me. Looks like the harp patent which I'll put beneath this video. This is just a quick video to try and get the news out. I hope this isn't a joke. Well I hope I hope it is a joke but uh, it looks to me as if harp Australia is getting beamed, harped, well and truly harped. I'm going to close in very quickly. Give me one more view. 5 p.m. 6 p.m. we get this side, and 7 p.m. that side. Right, I close in a bit. Unfortunately, it doesn't give a sort of in-between view. There we are. I'm going to try and put this up without editing it, so I'm making you wait, because otherwise it's going to take too long to edit. Quickly. 6 p.m. There we are. The stairway of plasma mirrors on the other side. And if that's not tilted plasma mirrors, I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to eat my hat. we 
up. Very good. And see the end of this. That's the, there we are, it comes to a, an end because the panel is here, but perhaps it's carrying on over there, you see what I mean? I'm going to go down to the base. p.m. 6 p.m. There you are, that's the base. And that's the other side. So it, the base is kind of the edges of the panel. Okay, you've seen the whole thing now. I have taken screenshots as well. Quickly. 9 p.m. Now these are perfectly normal clouds, okay? Five. And that is the base of this very abnormal staircase of plasma mirrors, which are beaming down on Australia, I think, or the ocean. These mirrors are tilted, which means that whatever direction they are tilted in, that is where the frequencies will be sent. Whatever, I think it's electromagnetic frequencies are being beamed, which is heating up the ocean and heating up Australia. And it's really what we don't need at the moment because of the bushfires which have destroyed at least 200 homes near Sydney and uh, well this area has been spawning typhoons and cyclones so right, I'm going to put, put this up now straight away thanks for watching and I love your comments and any information would be very useful